Good morning, sunshines. Happy Saturday, the 17th of December, 2022. It is 4.30 in the a.m. And why am I awake at 4.30 on a Saturday? Great question. I don't have a good answer for it. <laughs> but I am, so I guess it's time to get up and do all the things that I should have done earlier in the week, but didn't do. Like, clean up because my friend is coming over. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Good morning, sunshines. We're facing the other way. Um, the headboard is over there. So I just did some laundry. That's why the basket is on the bed. I have some stuff hanging to dry. Um, my room is still kind of a mess, but I guess I'll show it to you a little bit. So that's my view. That's what I wake up to. And I cannot even tell you how excited I am to wake up to that sunshine coming in through the window um, for several days in a row, starting very shortly. So that's the, that's the rest of my room still got to clean it up, but it's getting there. And on my curtains, let's see. there we go. Ish. I don't know how to show you that. There we go. Angles. Oh, I can do this. Okay. So you see all those papers. That is the beginning of my winter break to do list. Um, I am going to write it down in my journal also, but I found with Thanksgiving break, I wrote 108 things on the list and I accomplished about 100 of them, maybe 95. I accomplished so many of them and some of them were big tasks. Some of them were small tasks. Some of these are big tasks. Some of them are small tasks, but having the very big visual, like as I'm waking up in the morning, just looking over not having to flip through my journal, not really having to look at things, just kind of seeing the visual. And plus, you know, seeing everything crossed off every morning, it was just very, very motivating. So yeah, I am starting my winter break to-do list, like starting to write it out. What do I want to accomplish? I have lots of things. Um, I have some letters to write back to. I have winter break starting today, even though I have work today and three more days of teaching at school. Um, it's the weekend and I feel like it is time to get winter break stuff started, even though today is a very busy day and tomorrow is a very busy day <laughs> and then three days of school. But I just want, I want all of the things that are up here taking up so much space to be out on paper so I can be like, yes. It is a thing. I know it's a thing. It's already on paper. I don't have to think about it. So yeah, that is, that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, please tell me that somewhere in your house, you have a chair that's like this, like stuff that you need to deal with, but you just haven't gotten there or a table or something in my room. It's this right here. Like I keep stuff on my bed that I need to deal with in the next couple days, because I have a queen size bed and I'm not a queen sized human. And even with the animals, we still only take up about, I don't know, half of the bed. So I definitely <laughs> stack things next to me, whatever. It's the way that I've always worked. Um, I did it in college too and stuff. So whatever. High school, same process. It's just been my life since probably probably high school. I don't remember middle school, so I can't say for sure. Um, but I'm not the only person who does that. My best friend does that too. <laughs> so what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, that chair is like my, my holding space right now that I need to take care of some things on it, but please tell me you have one of those too. Anyway, I came here to show you something specific and then just rambled. I have finished the Kirby hat. I did make some little arms that'll hang off the back. I decided against doing the feet because I just, it's getting too crowded, frankly, on the hat 
for feet also, but I think the arms make it a little more curvy and I need to create the wrapping paper really quick, get it wrapped and get ready for work because I start work in an hour and 15 minutes approximately. I still have to get dressed. Um, my work is not very far away, but I am stopping at the post office and I want to leave plenty of time in case the self-service kiosk is not in service and I have to wait in a line. <laughs> so I'm going to go get that taken care of. See you probably at the shop. Today's socks are knit out of 716 knit. Um, these do not have nylon in them. The colorway is boys, I don't know, something about boys in kilts. I don't remember. It, it was a long time ago. Um, yeah, so I love them. Is it no nylon or they're non-super wash? I don't remember. Either way, I just remember these socks have to be hand washed, but um, they have this, it's, I don't remember the pattern. It's on Ravelry, I, or it's, I think I have a Revelry page, but maybe not. If you ask in the comments, I'll look it up. Um, something about a forest, but it's just like a little moss stitch section down the foot. It was just something to do something fun with it. And I did my decreases on the bottom of the sock. Or increases. What did I do? Are those increases on the bottom instead of along the, the like top of the gusset? So, decreases, I think. But I have a big ladder there. Oh, well. So, the thing is, is that each of my pairs of socks, really, except for my shorties, um, only get pre worn probably like four times. I bring them out at Vlogmas. I show them. I wear them. I put them in a basket and wear them a few more times each and then wash all of my socks in the spring. And then don't see them again until vlogmas <laughs> except for a handful of pairs and my shorties get worn all summer so these socks are just gonna last forever that's fine even with a giant ladder all right i have to finish getting ready for work Hey sunshines, happy Sunday morning. It is the 18th of December and I am just going to smash yesterday into today into one vlog. It happens sometimes. Um, I didn't take much footage yesterday. So the, the thing that we were going to that was so, so good and so cool was Cirque du Soleil. It was the night before and I enjoyed myself so, so much. But we left an hour before the show to get there, and it is a 30-minute drive. Okay, so perfect. It took us 35 minutes to drive literally a quarter of a mile to get into the parking garage because the parking garage was so crowded. And I had pre-purchased my parking. Like I, I bought the parking when I bought the tickets because I was like, oh, $15 is like, I'd rather pay that than have to figure out parking day of, which good choice passed me because there was also a Red Wings hockey game at the same time. So like the foot traffic was insane and parking all of the parking was $30. What? No way. So yeah, <laughs> that's I'm so glad that I prepaid and got the $15 parking instead of having to pay day of parking at $30. So crazy. So it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we got there. We were late, but they ended up holding the show about 15 minutes late because 
we were not the only people who were trying to get in the parking garage with our parking passes who couldn't get in. Like, it was just so, so backed up. Um, so we didn't miss any of the show, which is good because when you go to live performances like that, like if you're late, you can be waiting 10 minutes to get to your seat because it's at the discretion of the ushers. And I was so worried we were going to miss the beginning of the show, but we didn't. It was, it was good. It was good times. Um, the kids liked it. My best friend liked it. And then I picked up sushi on the way home. Like we ordered it from the parking garage. And then I picked, I dropped them back off at her car because she had, she had picked them up and brought them to my work so that I could drive. That's the way that that worked. Um, so I dropped them off at her car and then I went and picked up sushi and just had a good chill night. It was really, really nice. And then she and I went for a walk downtown and looked at the lights. So there's a little footage here of that. But yeah, I really didn't take much footage yesterday, so I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to make that a separate vlog. Also, I'm not going to edit anything this morning because we have to go grocery shopping and then, um, and then we have another thing to do today. Oh my goodness. I forgot my knitting in the car yesterday. Like I had, you know, made that sock so that I could take it so I could knit in the show and I forgot it in the car. Like we were almost to the door of the event and I was like, crap, I forgot it in the car. But I was like, I don't want to take the seven minutes. It's going to take me to walk back across the street, go up all of the stairs, hurry to my car, hurry back down all the stairs, cross the street again because we were already late. So I didn't have my knitting for the event, but it was okay. The show was like entertaining enough and interesting enough that I didn't feel super anxious not having the knitting. And I was clapping a lot because like that stuff is amazing. Like I can't do acrobatics. So I clapped a lot. I probably clapped the most. The person, the peoples in front of me at one point like turned and gave me side eye because I was clapping over a trick that I thought was really cool. And I'm like, mm-hmm, and be a better, more participatory audience member. <laughs> okay, I am going to get ready to go grocery shopping. I will check in with you later. I do have some, I have a lot of stuff to show you when I get back from groceries, but groceries first before it gets busy at the store. And then I'll show you some stuff from yesterday. So we're in the Starbucks line because Mara decided to treat all of us to Starbucks and proud mom moment Wait. she's so she's paying she's at the window and she even gave them a tip mm. yes. this cook, this frappuccino is so good yeah you tried a new one today what kind is it mocha cookie crumble would you recommend it mm -hmm. can i try a sip sure i would also recommend the caramel yep tastes like cookies and cream mm -hmm. but she likes it all right, friends, we are back from grocery shopping and I have a haphazard mess of stuff on my bed to show you. So first, um, a lady called the shop last week and asked if there was any way to commission someone to make a baby blanket. So I am making a baby blanket on commission. Um, so it's going to be these, it's going to be this pink in the middle, the Cascade Superwash Merino 220 in color. 24 in the middle and then a very thin border of color number why is this difficult today why can't i do this it's because i'm looking through the camera instead of just looking at the thing oh there's the color number color 72 and then the border is going to be in mano stel uruguay allegria in color what are you? Natural. So I have that started. I am going to try to knock out... Hello, P. I am going to wait for my dog to get settled. 
I am going to try to knock out as much of this blanket as I can on the break so that, um, I mean, mostly just so that it's done, right? Then I don't have to worry about it. She just got in from the outside, so she's got to roll all over everything. Um, yeah, that way I don't have to worry about it. She can have her thing. Uh, her timeline is, you know, she was like, oh, I don't know, sometime in the next few months. So she's not expecting this anytime soon. It's going to be like a crib-sized blanket, so not a teeny baby blanket. But I think if I get started today, obviously once I go back to school, I won't be able to work on it very much. But I'm hoping in our, I mean... I think I have like 10 days off from school, something like that. I'm hoping I can knock out a significant chunk of the blanket so that I don't have to worry about it. Um, no, that sounds bad. Whatever. You know what I mean. She also commissioned a baby hat. So I started that this morning. It's Barocco Vintage Baby. And um, yeah, I I don't know what pattern I want to make. I'm kind of thinking of barley because it's cute. And she said, you know, just put some cute decorations on it, whatever you think. Um, so, yeah, I might make two because there's plenty of yardage in here for two baby hats. I'm not sure yet because I think a barley would be really cute. And then I think maybe a little cable hat would be super, super cute, too. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, here's the sock that I only worked a little bit on yesterday, <laughs> a little bit of progress. I am going to take it today to the show that we're going to, um, which is the Nutcracker Immersive. I need to check what the bag policy is on that. Yesterday there were no bags, so I had it like on my lap. And then when I was getting ready to walk into the show, I knocked it off of my lap and didn't pick it up. So that's that. And then my Advent socks are caught up through yesterday. So ba -doom, ba -doom. that's going pretty good. And then I got presents yesterday. So nice. I didn't get them anything. I feel kind of terrible ish, except I'm not a, I'm not a Christmas present person. I don't think about it. So you want to see what I got? I'm going to show you. I got this is I'm saving that you can see that last it's so beautiful so there's little candies in there and then look at this oh my gosh I was so I, I just love it so so much look at this beautiful little angel isn't she gorgeous so beautiful. And then this one has a gift card to the shop and some hot cocoa, which I love. You know, I love hot cocoa. I'm excited for that. So that's that one. And then this bag. Look at how cute that bag is, first of all. And then homemade chocolates and goodies which I'm so excited for. These are delicious. The lady who makes this stuff is, she's excellent. Um, did I tell you that I went to, when I got to work, she had done a, um, an unplanned brunch for everybody. She brought in strawberries and Bailey's and coffee and, um, cookies and stuff. It was so good. It was so, it was such a lovely thing to walk into. And then look at this. <gasps> friends, friends, I don't know what that is yet. I didn't ask, but she made me bread. Look how cute that baking dish is too. She made me some bread. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe we'll have this for dessert tonight. That would be lovely. So yeah, that is, those were my presents from not even my students, just students I see every, well, almost every Saturday. Wasn't that so nice? <sighs> I'm very grateful for them.
All right, I am going to get this blanket started. Ooh, since we're here, let's open today's Advent and I can get started on Advent socks. I think break is going to be blanket time. Like I'm going to work on my mitered square blanket. I'm going to work up those minis into some other blankets. That's my plan. I don't really want to start a new knitting project until I get to school, um, like start something new for school knitting. So I'm not going to start anything on the break. Ooh, those are pretty. Ooh, which one do I think I want for my next color in the sock? It's going to stripe with this green. I'm kind of feeling this blue to stripe with the green. And then I almost forgot to show you my progress on this hat. So I got here, or this is where I was yesterday and I knit up here and I am going to finish this hat today. I am ready to start decreasing so it should go pretty quick and then I will save whatever leftover yarn I have to make a scrappy hat for kiddos at work. <laughs> when I was working on this at school um, Friday, kids were like, what is that? Who's that for? That's cute. So it's going to be for someone, for a kiddo, probably K through three, maybe fourth. It's not, it's definitely not like an older child sized hat. Like I couldn't give it to a middle schooler, but for, I mean, it Maybe for anybody in elementary, maybe not fifth graders. We'll see, but I'm going to try to finish it today. But I am going to knit a little and clean a little, and we don't have that long until the show. So it's right in the middle of the day, which is not my favorite, favorite thing, but it worked out for our schedules. And then maybe I'll clean some tonight. We'll see. I need to write a new rotation. I'm going to do that. Let me write a rotation. In case you're new here and you don't know what I meant when I said a rotation, um, sometimes my ADHD brain is like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? And I get stressed, especially now because it's, you know, holiday time and schedules and routine are kind of up in the air and whatever. So this tells me what I'm doing next. These numbers next to them are minutes. And if I go over a little bit on something, it's fine. But I try to stick to the minutes. Like, mm, if I go over on tasks that I find less than enjoyable, it's fine. But I really don't try to let myself go over tasks that I really enjoy because they're kind of like the reward for doing the thing that I don't want to do. Like... I, I don't want to clean, but I need to clean. So I clean for 10 minutes and then I get to write for five minutes. Um, that might be a journal entry. That might be a letter to a pen pal. I have a, I have some things that I'm copying into various notebooks. So I always have things to write down. And yes, I know I could photocopy things and like glue them, but it's not the same. I like the writing of like articles or passages of stories or memes or things. I like to write them down. So I give myself five minutes on that. I'm giving myself 10 minutes on the baby blanket. Um, but if I go over on that, that's obviously fine because that's a commission. School, 10 minutes on that. I don't really want to work on school work. I don't have like class school work to work on today, but I do have certificate school work that I can work on today. And then read for five minutes. That's my reward. And then wreck this and socks are also a reward for making it through the list. I know there's only two things that I don't really want to do, but I just really don't want to do them. So that's what it is. All right, I'm going to get started on this list.
they're building it from, from, the, bo- <laughs> from the bottom, and then they take an elevator and they lift the bottom floor to connect them. Hey sunshines, I am home from the Nutcracker Immersive and it was really, really fun. We had a really great time. The kids thought it was not the most exciting thing because they're kids, but it's fine. It's because, okay, so they have two different galleries. So we watched it the whole way through in the first gallery and then there's another gallery and it's a very different experience watching the whole thing, but they were like, it's the same video. And I was like, yes, but this gallery is much smaller and we can see more of the detail. And it's, there was a lounge and my oldest was like complaining. And I was like, you can go sit in the lounge and you can wait. They didn't end up going to the lounge. (laughs) They ended up just chilling out and watching. And it was really, really fun, really cool. Um, when we, when I bought the tickets, I also bought these ornaments because I bought premium tickets. So there's the Nutcracker, there's Clara, there is a rat, and, oh, and the Nutcracker's over here, and the soldier is over here. My mistake. So yeah, we got these. I'm going to just leave them in the packages because we don't have a tree up right now and I don't need them to get broken. They're glass. So yeah, I'll put them away for maybe next year. Um, they're just cute. And then there was also a gift shop and I like I had to get postcards because I just can't help myself when there are postcards. I did not get one of every postcard though. I just got the ones that I really felt I needed. <laughs> and then I got this notebook, which I was like, oh, I don't need another notebook. And it's more than I want to spend on a notebook right now. And then there was a sign that said all of the nutcracker stuff was 50% off. So I was like, well, I guess I need it. And then these post-its and these compact mirrors were 85% off. How could I not get them? I needed them, right? They're just, they're so, I love them. (laughs) So yeah, I got some souvenirs. And then we went out to lunch at burger bar i've never really been like i've lived not very far from detroit forever but i can count on my hand the number of times i have gone out to eat in detroit it's a travesty so my best friend and i are going to try to do that more coming up and uh yeah it was we went to the basement bar, I think it's called. The salad I got was so good. And my oldest got a bison burger, also really good. So I would definitely eat there again. We, my best friend and I have decided that we just need to see more shows. Like we need to go to more things because it was so, so fun. Like I want to go to more concerts and she says she'll go to more concerts as long as we have seats because (laughs) <laughs> we both agree that we're too old for the standing room only type concerts. I wouldn't do that again. If there's not seats at the venue, I don't really want to go to that venue. I like to be able to sit. I like to be able to knit in between acts and stuff. Um, so yeah, that was the, the weird. So where I'm going with that. 
if I can get the train back on the tracks, is um, in the future, not like now, but in the future, we are hoping to go see, um, we would like to go see the Nutcracker Ballet next year. So that's on our, like our next year holiday wish list is go to see the Nutcracker. I would like to see, um, what is it called? Shen Yun? Something like that. I want to see that show. And when Phantom of the Opera comes back, we're going to save our money and go see that. Um, because it comes through every few, few years. So we're going to see that. And yeah, just see more shows. There's also, I'm going to see if she wants to go to a comedy show. So I think it's a March. Um, I saw it when I went to the, the concert, the I Prevail concert, right around Thanksgiving. Um, someone was handing out flyers outside the concert, and I took one, and... There is a comedian who I follow on Instagram who's coming to Detroit, and I think she's hilarious. So I'm going to see if my best friend wants to go to that. And if not, maybe I'll consider being brave enough to just go to a comedy show by myself. I don't know if I'm that brave, though. Anyway, I'm going to put footage from the immersive show at the end of the vlog because there are lights. So in case you're light sensitive, um, like some flashing things, I don't want anybody to get sick watching a vlog. So I'm going to save that all for the end. Um, yeah. So it's still early in the afternoon. So I'm just going to start my rotation. My best friend already left because we were driving. I was driving back from the thing and she was like, whoa, I'm exhausted. And I was like, I know. I told you you would be. She just finished her um, second semester of towards a social work degree. So like Friday, she submitted her final project. So she's been submitting giant projects all week and, uh, I was like, you're going to be exhausted. Cause she was like, oh, we could blah, blah, blah on Sunday. And I was like, no, we're not doing anything on Sunday. Like we're going to go to the show and then we're both going to need to relax. And I was driving home and she was like, you're right. I need to relax. I was like, yep, that makes sense. She was like, I need a nap and a bath. And I was like, do you want a nap at my house before you go? Or you want to drive home and then take a nap? So she opted to drive home and then take a nap, which is fine. And I... Yeah, I'm going to start working on that baby blanket. And, oh, I started working on the hat, but I was working on it at the Nutcracker Immersive. And um, as I was leaving, I realized that I made an error. <laughs> I got really far. I think I'm pretty close to where I need to start decreasing on the baby hat. Um, but I messed up on the pattern like an inch back. So I'm going to have to drop down, I don't know. 10 stitches or something um, and fix the seed stitch section because I just autopiloted and messed up. But that's not that big of a deal. And then, yeah, work on the blanket. I'm going to work on the rotation though so that everything gets a little bit of something. I'm going to do the rotation at least once, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. And then, yeah, I don't know. I'm sad. I miss my friend. I know she was just here, but like, that was really fun. I haven't had a sleepover in a long time and like had a whole weekend hanging out with somebody in such a long time. So I miss her, but she's on break now and I am going to be on break so very soon and I don't have to work the next two Saturdays and I don't have to teach the next three Mondays. So it's like super vacation, almost three days of classes. I got this and then break. Um, I will check in with you tonight.
about things. Okay, I'll be back. Today's socks are, nope. Today's socks are Regia Perfect. Um, again, I don't remember what this, is this called Kick in the Pants? This is called Kick in the Pants. That's the, it's the same pattern that I used for my Hardcore Hamster socks. Cause I called those, I remember now, I called those on Ravelry, Ravelry Kicked in, ham, in the Hamsters back when I used to do Ravelry. So these are made with a perfect, which means that you start, I did not weave in this end. You start at the yellow and you cast on and you work your sock all the way through the leg and then you work down the foot and then you wind off this color until you get to the yellow again. And then um, same thing on the other side, you start where the yellow turns into the color and you knit the cuff as long as this first color is, and then you knit the leg. And then when you get to the main color, then you knit the foot. It's a lot of fun. I've made, I've made this exact colorway twice. I think this is the one, right? That I made my mom's boyfriend a pair of socks out of. And I got rid of this color because it's kind of a pinky red color. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. So I really like these socks. I enjoy them very much. Oh, my feet hurt all that walking the past two days. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, they're a little bit stretched out because it's the end of the day and I've been walking. I had walked a lot today. So anyway, I'm going to get back to what I was doing and I will reconnect with you about knitting later tonight. All right. So I did fix the error in the baby hat. Um, I think I'm like three or four rounds away and then start the decreases. Hopefully I'll finish that tomorrow morning before school. I kind of want to make another baby hat and that would be great to take to school, I think. Um, and then here is the blanket. Doesn't really look like much yet, but you can see there's a pattern forming here. Um, I think it takes me, takes about 10 minutes to do a row right now. So, or no, not a row, um, to do two rows. So a pass and a return because there's so much purling on the return because it's basically stocking out with a little pattern on it. So that's okay. That's where I'm at with the blanket. It started. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you had so much fun coming along this weekend and stay tuned for some footage from the shows. Okay. Well, from the one show. Bye friends. See you soon.